probably easiest to um, remove this side cover here um, with the um, with the bomb site on the uh, stabilizer base. Um, I don't know if I would actually do it inside the airplane, but having a, a good stable place for the bomb site, having it upright, is a lot easier to work on than having it lay down. There's um, there's three uh, flathead screws that come out, and then this pulls off, and then you can check for uh, any binding in these little knobs here. Um, you should be able to reach in with your finger and turn this little uh, DC motor here. It's a variable speed motor. Uh, this is uh, actually a variable resistor uh, on this uh, airspeed control that varies the voltage to the uh, this little motor here. Um, and er everything should move freely here. Um, on this uh, rate knob here, it's a little resistance, but it still moves pretty freely. Um, this uh, little wheel moves and it spins this and um, this moves the uh, differential up inside uh, pretty freely. Uh, this also adjusts the, uh, the the angle of the mirror. So um, if we need to go further, if this is uh, gummed up and doesn't want to move freely, uh, there's a set of uh, several flathead screws around the perimeter of this unit here and this whole thing comes off. Keep in mind you have to disconnect the um, linkage to the uh, trail here. Um, on the inside there's a, a pair of contacts uh, that carry the voltage uh, from the stabilizer base up through this switch. Uh, so when you turn it on, your DC voltage is there to, to run your motor. Um, the uh, bomb site switch on the stabilizer base provides power for this switch. Uh, there's a lamp for the uh, crosshairs. Um, and if you have the reflex site, it provides voltage for that. and it. Um, Independent of this switch, it provides power to the um, gyro and the side head back over here. This uh, inner knob and the gear here, right here, mesh with this gear here, and that sets the, uh, the rate. You can see um, this moving up and down and that coincides with the uh, right hand indicator moving up and down on the scale. Uh, the outer knob and this uh, piece that pushes in and out, uh, which engage, engages the drive, uh, set where the mirror goes, and that's this here. Uh, when, the, when the sight motor is running, um, this spins, there's a slip differential up inside, and uh, when you push in that pin, that stops turning, which causes the uh, left-hand indicator to move up the scale and uh, eventually uh, drop the bombs. Right here, the airspeed literally slows down or speeds up the drive motor. You can see spinning here. You can actually hear the RPMs increase. And as that speeds up, your tachometer out here speeds up. Uh, there's two scales. That's this little um, 186 to 450 and 77 to 186 switch on the side. 
that moves this little uh, piece, it slips it back and forth, which uh, that sets it on the slower scale. I flip it over and it goes uh, on the uh, higher speed scale. Here's a closer look at the, uh, the rate. Um, you see as I as I move that um, inner knob, that mechanism moves up and down. And this little wheel here spins either faster out of the tip of this gear moving here or slower toward the center. Taking a closer look inside, way up inside the uh, right end computer here there's this pulley and a wire um, that you can see as I'm rotating the mirror is actually what positions the mirror um, that wire is very hard <laughs> to get in position and replace but it, it is possible Here at the center of the screen, we can see the uh, action of the differential, that uh, brass gear. As I increase the, um, the air speed, that gear will turn a little bit faster. And when I lock down this gear here, that differential will start to, to rotate. Actually, let me set this up at a higher rate here. Going to get a little higher rate of turn here. So, I stop this. You can see that differential starting to to travel, and as that's rotating, the uh, angle of the mirror is uh, slowly pointing down toward the ground. And here you can see as I rotate the, uh, the trail arm here, The, um, the rate here increases or decreases depending on my trail. And there's another mechanism on top that actually tilts the mirror a little bit too. So anyhow, I just wanted to give a, uh, a little better internal look on the uh, Norton bomb site here uh, to you know, give a little better understanding of its uh, mechanical workings and uh, just uh, the amazing engineering that uh, went into this thing.